Welcome to my garage. <laughs> uh, tonight we are going to look at uh, Aracourt weekend. So the Battle of Aracourt happened, I don't know when or where, but it obviously involved American and German tanks because all of the American tanks, tiers 1 through 5, are 50% off. 6 and 7 are 70% off. However, there aren't any American tanks that fall into tier 6 and 7 that are premium. So... Um, I'm sorry, we're talking about premium tanks here. So tiers two through five are, are half off, though. Um, so that involves the T2 light tank, the M22 Locust, the Ram 2, and the T14. Uh, and then we'll look at the German end of things once we're done with this portion of the review. So um, we're going to do what's called a scramble. Uh, for those of you who have been watching my channel, you know we run a battle in each tank. Uh, the reason I do that is because obviously as patches and changes come out, some things change with these tanks, some things don't. Um, so <coughs> starting off with the T2 light tank, let's go ahead and start the battle. Uh, I don't love this tank, I'll tell you that, but it's really cheap, so it's kind of hard to, to pass up. It's going to be like 300 gold or 375, so let's go ahead and run a battle. Okay, so the T2 light tank, um, unlike... Um, 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 um. The T2 light tank doesn't have a great gun. It's an auto loader, but a lot of people love this tank. I personally, it doesn't do anything for me. I don't know. It's okay. It's really fast. It's the fastest tank, really, until you get into like the Hellcat and some of those tanks. So this is a, a very fast moving tank. It's just, I don't know. Good scout though. However, the view range is terrible. I mean, the view range is. About 240 or 250, I think, somewhere around there, which is really crappy view range, which kind of makes it a crappy scout. Um, but the mobility gets it places fast. Uh, it does not get it does not get preferential matchmaking, so you're going to see tiers uh, three and four, and you know you're going to run into some pretty big tanks. Yeah. There you go. I can't even penetrate a T2 medium. <laughs> Pretty sad. Now, I'm messing around with my graphics, so I may have to change some things here. If it's real choppy, I apologize. It's not as smooth as it normally is, but it looks a lot better. <laughs> yeah. Right now, I'm not really lighting anything up. But <coughs> great, and of course the T2 medium just penetrates right through me. No problems. I'm gonna die. <laughs> no. Oh, come on, keep missing. All right. Yeah, this little bugger just. Oh, dang it. Oh. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, that's usually what happens when I run this tank. I just, uh, I don't know. I don't find it to be that great of a tank, really, but if you gotta have it, you gotta have it. Some people, like I said, some people love it, and some people just, like me, I don't know. It's an okay tank. I'm glad I bought it, but I don't ever really, ever play it. Maybe that's part of why I'm so bad with it. The only time I, I ever get to run it is when we have these reviews, so. <laughs> Alright, off to the next tank. And that brings us to our next tank, the uh, M22 Locust. This tank is... I feel like this is a more fun tank. First of all, uh, it, it also does not get preferential matchmaking, so you will end up as a pure scout in Tier 5 matches. But in Tier 3 matches, I feel like this tank's a lot more fun. It, it ends up being like a little mini... I don't want to say a mini Sherman, but it's kind of like a mini medium. Um, with okay armor. <laughs> the only downside is it doesn't turn so well. It's not, it doesn't have a good traverse. And when you traverse, it, uh, it slows the tank down, so your tank will lose speed as you traverse, and that's not a great thing. Um, I'm gonna pop in here, see if I can catch these guys as they come across. We'll see. Well, I'm gonna get myself flanked here. PZ1C is your arch nemesis. Nice shooting text. I totally bounced. So, get ready. PZ2G. So yeah, he doesn't know I'm here. He will, because the PZ2G knows I'm here. <laughs> Tippy toes. 
Now the 38T is kind of deadly, so you gotta be careful because he's got a fairly big gun. <coughs> Not sure where that bullet went. The D2, yeah, he's got a good gun. Oh, where did he come from? Oh, that's our same Panzer. Oh good, and I have no support, so I'm probably going to die at this point. Getting out of here. No help, out of here. Have to kill that Panzer 1C. He's destroying our team. Come on! Oh! Oh well. <coughs> nice miss. That guy's still there. Oh, he got behind somebody. Hey, he's lucky. I almost got him. <coughs> so yeah, I like the M22. I think it's a great... I don't want to say a great purchase, but I think it's a good buy. It's a fun little tank, especially when you're having a bad night. Um, gets into these crazy little tier, tier 2 and 3 battles where everybody's flying around a million miles an hour. I like it. Looks like we are going to probably... I don't know. It's close. Oh, man. Alright, the T-14 is an odd duck. It's basically like a squished M4. Uh, has 50 armor all the way around on the bottom, and this machine gun port on the front is a big weak spot. Uh, the, the turret's 100 all the way around. This tank gets preferential matchmaking, so it will not see Tier 7. It'll only see Tiers 5 and 6. The gun is absolute garbage on this tank. It is a piece of crap. And uh, decent rate of fire, a little bit over three second reload. And it's accurate too, but <laughs> no penetration. You're under 100 penetration and going up against tier six tanks, it's worthless. I mean, you're really not gonna shoot or hit anything. The other weird thing about the T-14 is that it doesn't fit any of the American heavy crews so there really isn't a crew that lines up with this tank so you're gonna be training some of your guys but you can't train all of them so I don't know is it worth buying it half off I'm almost gonna say no uh, I, I think yeah I mean, I don't know it's fun in a tier 5 battle you can bounce a decent amount of shots with it the armor is reliable to a point but <laughs> it can also be a very frustrating tank to play. Uh, sometimes you got to fling gold. I don't know. Once again, just like anything, it's an opinion. Some guys love the T-14, but I really... A lot of the guys that I know that love the T-14 or used to love it don't really like it that much anymore because a lot's changed in the game since the T-14 came out. There's a lot more tank destroyers um, and a lot of newer tanks that just don't have an issue going through this tank or and can also defend against it, so... I don't know, it's... <coughs> and the fact that it doesn't fit any crews very well... It's just, it's, it's an odd duck. I don't know. Uh, sometimes I have good battles in it, though, and I do have a positive win rate with it. It's not, like, great, but it's not... It's not a bad win rate, either. I think it's, like, 52 or 53% win rate. So, I don't know, I mean... It's fairly mobile for a heavy tank. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a weird tank. And like I said, it's... And it sucks on this tier, because I really can't do anything. Against the KV-1S, I mean... At least not now. <laughs> In a couple weeks, though. <laughs> that might change. Of course, the KV-1S is going to become a derp machine on tier 5. Uh, they're going to give it the uh, fast mobility, and then they're going to give it the derp cannon. So... I want this guy to shoot. Nope, don't shoot me. Aha! But you can see that turret, and he shot me in the turret, and I got 11 or 12 seconds to get one hit on him. Oh, I set him on fire, yeah. <laughs> Here, what was I saying about not being able to penetrate him? Uh, on the side, I can penetrate. <coughs> so. And it is mobile. I mean, like I said, you're trading some of that armor weight for speed. However, the turning is terrible on this tank. As you can see, it's really quite slow to turn. 
Um, but that that head is it got a good solid head on there. We didn't even scratch them. Yeah, I did some I did module damage though. It flashed white. Great. Right, he's invisible. <gasps> oh! Oh! Ah, crap, sickles. And of course, that's the only thing I got going for me on this tank is the armor. KB2 really hurt me. I'm gonna back out because he's gonna just—he's just gonna do that again. I'll try to light him up though for these guys. Come on. Oh! Oh! Jeepers, criminy! <laughs> well, yeah, I was pretty exposed there. At least I lit them up for a minute. I don't know. Our team, it, it could go either way. I think, I don't think we're going to win this, but maybe we will. I don't know. We have to, those guys have got really good hiding positions, but once they're spotted, hopefully we'll get them, take them out. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so, T14, yeah. I, uh, I had a pretty good battle there. And, I, I, you know, to be honest with you, sometimes it's fun. And it, it is more a lot more fun on Tier 5, obviously. And since you don't ever see Tier 7, um, it's kind of acceptable. But, I don't know, it's just... It's... Uh, the gun is so bad on this tank. And it's bad on the Excelsior, too, I guess. You know, the Excelsior just feels more mobile, so you can kind of put up with it. But, I don't know. It's up to you. At 750, it's a good deal. <laughs> up to you. I'd say the, the other tank, the Ram 2, is a better choice, and we're going to take a look at that now. Alright, so uh, the Ram 2 is... does not get preferential matchmaking. Uh, unlike the T-14, the Ram 2 actually fits the American crews very well. So most of the American medium tanks, most of their crews will fit this uh, to a T. So this is a good training tank for your American mediums. It sports the uh, six-pounder. Same, same gun that's on the Electo. Same gun that's on the... British Matilda. Uh, it's also on the Churchill 3 and the Matilda BP. And so it's a, a, <clears throat> a two second reload, fairly low penetration. You're in, you're in about the 100 area for penetration, which isn't great. Um, it's usable, but it's, you know, <sighs> you get up against a tier 7 tank and you're going to have some problems unless you can get around behind him or on his side. Uh, I think you're just a little bit over 100, maybe about 110 penetration. But that rate of fire is nice, and sometimes you can have some pretty... Wow, nobody came this way. Oh my gosh. Really, guys? <laughs> and I'm spotted. I'm gonna... oh, this is not good. Dang it. And here comes the LEFH, of course. I'm getting out of here. I need to get down behind something to get hidden. <laughs> Run! Uh, the armor on this tank is okay. It's... <coughs> Excuse me. It's, um... It's not the best armor on the world, but it's a little bit... It's a little bit, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Um... Trollish. It's it's going to be troll armor a little bit. Penetration. Yep. And I'm only going to get one shot in that guy for him. Yeah. T-34 is going to have a rough time penning me. And vice versa. I need to get where I can get safe. Come on. Somebody freaking help me. Cheaper's criminy. Yeah. These are the teams tonight. You know, it's like... Times I've got to call for help, guys. Out. Wow. I don't know what to tell you. I, I can't get a good battle in this tank tonight, and I'm not going to keep trying. Uh, these people are a-holes, and I've been asking for help for like half an hour, and nobody's bothering to even look. So, um, The Hellcat took one shot, which was nice of them, or somebody did, maybe that M7, but really, wow. Uh, this is why we're going to lose this battle, because nobody's paying attention. So, but uh, yeah, I, I really like... I, shut up. 
I really like the Ram too. It's a good tank, and I think that um, you know, unfortunately, when you get into some of these higher tier battles, <coughs> you know, it's not going to be a game changer necessarily. But when you're in a tier five battle, you can kind of rule the roost, and it, it's you know, it goes up against some pretty big tanks without having any issues. So, anyway, obviously, we're going to lose this one. <laughs> wow, what a team! Looks like we won the uh, the battle with the um, T14. I thought I'd show you this so that you can see. Yeah, look, I did pretty good. And uh, the detailed report here. Not a bad take home, really. So, you know, I guess one of the good things about the T14 is the ammunition doesn't cost much because it sucks so bad. Uh, <laughs> we could take a look at the service record real quick, too, if that helps. Um, yeah, 56% win rate after 130 battles. That's pretty dang good. So, I don't, you know, I'm, whatever. I, I, like I said, I don't, I honestly, I don't play this tank much, but. It, it, it's <laughs> I got a good crew in there and stuff. It's not a bad tank. I, I really I guess I shouldn't knock it, but it's nothing special. And honestly, the gun really hampers it. That 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 low penetration under under a hundred pen pen really hurts this tank. And a lot of the a lot of the premium tier five tanks, the heavies suffer from that. It's the same with the KV two twenty. Uh, it's the same with the Excelsior. You kind of run into that with all of those. So is it worth it? At 750, it's really a good deal, honestly. Uh, if you're looking for a tank that you want to have fun in, but if you're hoping for like a really good, amazing tank, eh, no, it's not. Uh, the Ram 2, I would say the opposite. Yes, this is definitely worth it, and it can be an amazing tank. Didn't get to show you that tonight, but if you watch some of my other videos, you will see it doing well. So let's move on to the German tanks. Yeah. So the Germans, they get a lot of premium tanks, unlike the Americans who only get four. Uh, these are all the premium tanks that the Germans have up to tier seven. Uh, so right now, one through once again, two through five is 50% off. And then the tiers six and seven are going to be 30% off. Um, we're going to look at the T-15, the S-35, the T-25, the Schmaltern, the Panzer IV-S, the... Uh, Panther M, the Panzer M10, uh, the Ducker Max, and uh, also our super fun E25. We'll look at that one last. We'll see how that goes. Starting with the T25, let's go to battle. I'm actually terrible when I play a tier three because I don't play down here very often. Um, <laughs> we've seen this before. This is the first time I think in a long time that I've gotten a top tier battle in this tank, and that's where this tank is fun. This is the uh, I lied. This is not the T15. We'll go back to that in a minute. Um, this is the Panzer, um, it's the captured French S-35 Soma, and, uh, it's, this is a fun tank. So, but it is French, actually, it's just, it's captured, so, it comes out with German paint, and you're gonna run some of your German crew members. Now, it does not fit a full house of German crew members. So, um, you know, most of the German mediums have a five-member crew, this one only holds three members. So you're not going to be able to train everybody with this. This is more of that kind of knockabout, having fun, <coughs> lighthearted tank. And unfortunately, it's not real lighthearted because it does see tier 5. This does not get preferential matchmaking. I think it should, but they decided not to. Um, it does really well on, tier, on the tier 3 battle, though, and it's a lot of fun. So there's the Locust. Bzz. I can hit that Loki. Let me start a moon. So on tier two, though, this is definitely a worthwhile. Or tier three, it's definitely a worthwhile tank. As you can see, the gun is really nice. Good, accurate gun. Okay, gun depression. Wow, T-57. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. <coughs> Does anybody play any art? You know, it's funny. Oh, yeah, they do. There he is. He's shooting me. Uh, lately, I've found that a lot of the... Um, seems like there's a lot of arty playing lately. They've kind of gotten popular again. People are kind of learning to ignore the weaknesses and... Ah. Yeah, look at all those shots I bounced. Well, the T-57's got me pinned. I don't want to sit here anymore. This pack 40, like in the totally wrong place. Yeah, it's, it's still got me. 
So he's picking on me on purpose, and I need to get out of here. In fact, uh, dang it, he's gonna kill me. Let these guys have this, cause I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna let that T57 kill me. Nice, nice miss. Way to get. <laughs> Try to keep that guy lit up. Yep. Now, that artillery beat me up pretty good, though, and he's, he's probably going to get me here as I make my turn, but... <coughs> anyway, this is a fun tank, and I think it's definitely worthwhile. Unfortunately, it does see Tier 5 battles. That makes it a little bit less fun, but at half off, it's worth it, for sure. It's cheap fun. Wow, that guy... Blaze of Glory. So far, we have less deaths than they do, but that may not last long. I don't have much left. Nice. Good job, PZ. I need to... <laughs> he got walloped. See if I can help with that T46. Yeah, look at that, man. They're, they're the artillery's trying to get me. This whole battle, they've been after me. Boy, I'd like to kill that T57. It'd be nice to get his number, huh? After putting up with that the whole battle, he's the only one that's done me damage. Oh, that's not true. That first guy hit me, but I say he's the one that's done me the most damage. <coughs> so I can get up here without being spotted. I need to get six cents on this crew. Oops, not good. Yeah, that's the only downside with this tank is it's god awful slow. As you can see here, I'm just. Putzing along. I don't know if I can penetrate that T18. I don't doubt it. Okay, might be time for paybacks here. There's the SU18. <laughs> I can't believe I survived the whole battle. Where's that T57? I'm waiting. As soon as that dude pops up, it's over. Yep. There he goes. Oh, I didn't get the kill. Rats. Hey, our pack 40's ripping them apart. That's another great one. Too bad that's not on sale this week. That's a fun one. Yeah, you can see how nice, nice and accurate that gun is. There we go. Well, two kills. That's not too bad. <laughs> Somebody suicided. There we go. Pack 40 outdid me, but that was a good battle. Next. Oh yeah, so this one's worth it for sure. Especially on a tier 3 battle, it's fun. You know, tier 5 is not so much fun, but it, it's a cool little tank. T-15. Off we go. Alright, the T-15 light tank. Um, this one's fun. It's especially fun on a tier 3 battle. This is kind of the antithesis, antithesis of the M... 22 Locust. It's much more mobile, but it's not as fast. Does that make sense? It's got a better traverse. Seems to handle all terrains better. Doesn't slow down too much when turning. Um, Auf geht's. But the gun is not as good as the, the Locust gun. It's not much worse. Has about the same rate of fire. Uh, but it's just a little bit... Eh, I think it's like 10 or 15 less penetration, which... You know, on a tier 4 or 5 battle, that makes a difference. Now, it doesn't get preferential matchmaking, so you are going to see, well, tiers 4 and 5. And in those kind of situations, you're going to play scout. Uh, in this kind of situation, you're still kind of going to play scout, because this tank doesn't have much armor. Um, it really is still a light tank. <coughs> As you can see there, the M37 uh, 
just dwarfs this thing. That artillery. It's like twice the size of this thing. Well, if he ain't dead, he ain't gonna be dead. Oh man, they all went up that way. That how it is, huh? Oh, I was hitting them. <laughs> Boom! Gegnerfahrzeugausgeschaltet. Ja. See the Panzer 1C? He's my arch nemesis. He's got a better tank than I do. It's overpowered, but it's not premium. Um, I believe you can fit your Lux crew, and that would be also mean the next tank. The whoops, I didn't lead him enough. <laughs> Did it again. Come on, Arthur. Shoot at the guy that's not moving, right? <laughs> Willkommen Strafa. Um, we'll take a look at that right after this is over. I believe this fits the Lux crew and the little leopard. I don't know about the I don't know about the 2801. That might get a bigger crew, but I can't penetrate that big tank. <laughs> it's respectively big or. From my perspective, it's a huge tank. See that bounced on the M priest, but this is a role that this tank not is not normally in. Come on, dude. Boop. Where are my bullets going? I'm like aiming right at him. Nothing. Look at that. And this gun is usually pretty good. Well, guess not that good. Uh oh. <coughs> well, we're winning, but we've lost this side of the map. I'm going to go to light him up. Hopefully I'll survive, but I probably won't. It doesn't look like I'm going to get any support. The artillery is being smart. They're moving out. That's what they should do. Uh, the sexton is the only one who's still left. But he's, he's getting covered too, so that's good. I'm not running. I'm not running. I'm going the right way. Oh, jeez. S35, that's the last tank I want to find. Well, I'm going to have to get up there in the base. And I'm not going to make it. There's no way. Already reset. Oh well, what are you going to do? Your team sucks. Good reset, Artie. <laughs> well, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. I scouted them all out, and nobody bothered to take a shot, so... I even did some shooting myself, but just not enough. This gun's a little poo-poo damage. Tier 2 gun on a Tier 3 tank, that gives you an idea. Uh, penetration is, yeah, 42. Pretty low. I think it's 59 on the Locust, so it's this is a gun that doesn't do a whole lot. It's a scout tank. It's not supposed to do a whole lot. So you look at the crew. It is a four-man crew, and yes, it fits the Leopard crew, and that also includes the Lux. Um, and let's see. Uh, we can even look at the tech tree, because I think it's kind of important. Um, obviously, what crews fit. And I, I'm not super familiar with the German light line. I am working my way up there, but I've kind of come to a standstill, and there's a whole bunch of new lights coming out soon, so I may not continue. I don't know. Let's see the crew... Vehicle details. Uh, the crew configuration. No, so here we have a larger crew. So once you get to the VK, it no longer fits the crews. But for the Leopard and the Lux, you are in Luk. And uh, also the Panzer II has only two-man crew, so that's why if you look at this tank, 
um, and you look at my crew, two of these guys are a little bit over 100%, and two of them aren't, because these guys were guys that were just running this tank, and these guys were my Panzer I crew. They are now my Leopard crew, right? Right? I don't know. So anyway, let's move on to the T-25. Off we go. It's the T-25. It's the German medium tank that plays just like a Hellcat. <laughs> Except for the camo thing. But uh, it's got a slow turret and slow traverse just like the Hellcat. But decent. Top speed. Uh, the gun has fairly low penetration, but it's not bad. It's one of the higher penetrations of the Tier 5 premium tanks. I think it weighs in between 110 and 120. It does about 120 to 140 damage. Um, four second reload. Just under four seconds. Uh, one of the nice things about the T-25 is that it fits almost all the German medium crews. I think it might be, actually be all of the German medium crews. So it's a good uh, trainer for your crews. And, you know, I think it's probably the best of the three that you have to choose from for the full crew training. You got this, the Panzer 4S and the Panzer M10, which we're going to go through all three of those. Um, or all two of them, including, well, three including this one. <laughs> we'll get there. My brain will get there. Um, whoa! But, uh, because it's tier 5, it's a little easier to play. It doesn't make as much money, but it makes good money. You know, comparatively. And I think it's the most capable of the three tanks. Uh, the Panzer 4S seems to get screwed as far as the teams go. Actually, I had somebody comment the other day on my Panzer 4S review. They are like, I didn't believe you until I got one. Uh, you're almost always in the bottom four. You're usually the fourth tank in the list. That's that's 99% of your battles. You're going to be the bottom four tanks. And um, that's in the Panzer 4S. And then you always get put on the worst teams. Like your teams are almost always going to lose regardless of how you do. So it's kind of a... It, it's screwy how they did that. I, I don't understand the reasoning behind why they did that, but they did it. Oh, I like this. Look at this. The sand dunes go all the way back here now. That's sweet. You can get some protection. Uh, so anyway, I'm... I'm not happy with the Panzer IV-S. I wish they would fix the MM a little bit so that it got a little nicer MM. Uh, it does have... Uh, pref matchmaking. Oh, and I gotta mention about this tank. The gun, the aim time is deplorable. It's one of the worst aim times of all the German tanks. Uh, it reminds me of a Russian 122mm uh, aiming time. It's super slow. Um, so you gotta be still. No arty. That's good. Yeah, you're not gonna, we're not gonna penetrate that guy. Maybe if my gun would actually hit where I'm aiming, maybe I could. Um, this is a Czechoslovakian tank once again. Uh, it's made by the Skoda Corporation. It is part of the German lineup. And uh, Skoda also makes, for those of you that care, uh, rally cars. <laughs> and uh, they're not necessarily in the World Rally Championship, but you do see a Skoda from time to time uh, on the field. Oh, dang it. When they first started, they were... Um, it was the... Uh, Octava, which I think was a four-door um, car, a sedan, but then they switched over to the the Fabia. It's a little two-door hatchback um, for rally racing, and it's pretty cool. Pretty cool car. I get in range of these stupid tank destroyers and take them out. I'm trying to see where they are. Eh, not spotting them. Can't do really. Can't do much unless they get spotted. So this tank is really not a good one for doing that. We need to get three on two over here, though. So I'm gonna swing around. Oh, okay. Now they're spotted. Now that I'm moved up. The T20 is a big monster for me. The Type 58 is not quite so scary. Yeah, come on guys. I'm taking the hits. You gotta do your work. Yeah, 
Yeah. This gun on this tier is just... <laughs> and that's a tier 6 tank, too, so it should actually be able to penetrate him, but... Not today. <coughs> not going to get any turret penetrations today. I want to hit this dude. Nope. Oh, God. Of course, he angled just at the moment that I fired. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. This gun. And that's what I'm talking about. This is That's one of the downsides of this particular tank. Um, it really... It doesn't get the L70 that they all all the other mediums get, which... Come on, watch. Oh! <laughs> Finally! Something other than a bounce. <laughs> I've had my share of those for this match. Now to pay back these dudes that were shooting me from across the map. I can... Get my gun down. Yeah. Probably not gonna do it on this crest. Mm-hmm. I'll just be patient. Oh! AT-8. Oh, doesn't matter. I'm not going to be able to do anything to him anyway. Oh. Dicker Max. Fat Max. <coughs> I'm going to bypass the AT-8 because I can't... I just don't have the gun for that. I can barely have the gun for these tanks. Is that Hellcat killing our T-150? Well, I'm going to end up having to go back, huh? <laughs> oh, nice shot! Big hit, big hit! <laughs> Poor Churchill 7. <laughs> Yeah, gang, I know why you pulled me over. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to penetrate that, probably. Oh! Hit the fuel tanks. Oh, well, hit something. Come on, fellas. Help that Churchill. One twenty one. That wasn't the hell that wasn't the Dicker Max. Uh <coughs> Oh well. We are gonna play Hellcat. We are gonna beat the Hellcat. We are gonna beat the Hellcat. Cause he's really kill him. Kill them out there. Yeah, what's he doing? He's gonna one shot me if I pull out. He's got a big, big gun. Oh. Well, I didn't do a whole much in that match, but you know what? I was the bottom tank, so hey, I survived. Not really a great battle, but you know, considering the tiering, it wasn't a bad battle. Uh, guy scored pretty high. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I'm trying to make myself feel good about that. Here's my Panzer IV S that really needs a paint job. <coughs> All right, let's take this guy out. This is the tank that gets screwed. All right, obviously this tank doesn't get preferential matchmaking. I made a mistake. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, typical. Tier six, and then right to tier eight. Weird. Two tier sevens. Um, you know I really like this tank. I'm sad about what happens to it because. It really does get skunked quite often. Um, it's not a bad tank. It moves okay. It's not fast, but it's it's okay moving. And the gun is pretty good. It's it's a good sniper tank. Uh, it's fun on, on you know big open fields where you can shoot things from far away. And it, it's a good tank. But it gets the worst teams. It it just gets abused. And here we come. Okay, good. I'm gonna get to go against the French FCM 50T. I'm going to try to get out of here if I can. Because there's just too much going on here. I don't... I don't know. I mean, look at this. What am I supposed to do with all these tanks? Come on, T-25. Come on. Oh, sorry, IS-6. Come on through. 
Stop it! You freaking jerk! <sighs> All these heavies. <laughs> and I, just a lowly tank. Mm-hmm. Well, no, oh, nope. Nice miss. And I missed again, yeah. <coughs> T21. Pretty good moving. Little fella. So I try to help with that. Can't do anything against the Tiger 2, of course. Uh, weird. And then, of course, the hill. We're going to lose the hill. <laughs> Gosh. See what I'm talking about? And here I'm in the tank. I can't penetrate any of these tanks. Everything that I've found so far has been way too big for me, except for the T21, and I missed both the shots on that. Oh, and this guy's going to come flying across. Here we go. This is going to be great. Here we go. Oh, the one shot I hit, I bounced. That's great. Yeah. Yep. And the Amex doesn't know where to shoot him. No, oh, it's good. The French tank's going to shoot me in the back. That's great. That's great. I got wrecked. How come I get... No, oh, well. What am I going to do? You know... That's what happens to this tank. Sorry, guys. I don't know what to tell you. I just... You get screwed every time. I, I just... There, there's nothing you can do about it. And it's like... The MM, you always get put on the bottom of the team. Even if you're tier 6 and tier 7, you're still at the bottom. And then... You just your teams fall apart. Look at our team. We've been going for less than four minutes and we're already losing, so. Oh well. Yeah. I, I don't know what to tell you. I love this tank, but I hate what happens to it, so. <laughs> oh well. Alright, and that brings us to the Panzer M10. Uh, this is a little bit of a rough tank. Uh, it has a really bad reputation. People really hate this thing. Uh, I don't mind it. I kind of like it, actually. Uh, it definitely gets better matchmaking than the Panzer IV S, and it seems like it does better overall. Ironically, it has the same gun as the Panzer IV S. It's more mobile, has more health. Um, though, it's not a winner for sure, but it's definitely better than what happens to the Panzer IV S, as you witnessed. And that really is what happens to me frequently in that tank. Now, that was really bad, because that map doesn't give you any positions where you can snipe, but um, on a more open map, it's not quite so bad. Look, I'm the only person going this way. These guys are terrible. Crap, I got it. I had to run for a second. And uh, as you can see here, they're just dominating the map because nobody went this way. <coughs> so I'm going to see what's poking around this way, but... You know there's going to be tanks that are already broken through. T32, I will not be able to take him at all. Not a ch And oh, the VK, not a big mm, get away. Okay. Yep, I'm just backing out. There's there's nothing I can do here. I'm just leaving. This team sucks. This should not be happening at all. You guys just suck, man. Yep. Well, sometimes you gotta, you know, it's like lead them to the enemy. Lead the enemy to your friends, because 
they're not helping me, so... Nice miss, moron. Nervin. <laughs> well, I'm still alive. But not by much. And I know he knows I'm here, so... Yeah, come after me, buddy. Nope, you're over. You got like a 5, 15, 5 or 10 second reload, and it's over for you. <laughs> well, I guess I get to be jailbait for this one. <laughs> Amazing. That was an interesting battle. <laughs> I did not think it would go that way. Uh, especially after the little miss on the, uh, that was crazy. I'm not going to score very well, but <laughs> uh, you can see one of the things that's good about this tank is that um, it does have a lot of health. I took some serious hits from some big tanks and mostly just did running around and leading, but uh, that's a pretty decent score. Look at that. And, uh, you know, makes okay money. It is a premium tank, so no, I didn't overall, nah, that's not that great, but... The experience was good, 600 experience. And, you know, for what we were up against with all those heavies, that was a pretty decent way to do it. <laughs> a lot of spotting damage. In fact, let's take a look at that. I've got, uh, yeah, 19, 1900 spotting damage. That's, you know, it's, you're basically playing a scout at that point. So, anyway, I like this tank. I think it's good. I wish the small turn I could say the same thing for. Oh well, or small turn. Very strange MM. <laughs> All mediums, except for us, we have one heavy. Hopefully he's good, but I had a feeling if they're matching us up like this, probably not. <laughs> the Dicker Max, or the Fat Max. Uh, low, a average penetration for a tier 6. Um, great gun. You know, 300 damage when you hit. And it's pretty accurate at distance. You know, the big benefit to this tank destroyer, besides the fact that it has a seriously brutal gun, is that it uh, it does um, hull down really well. So it has a, uh, a lot of gun depression. You can kind of uh, sidle up to a hill and really just poke a little bit of your tank over and fire. And you can see here, I'll show you here as we come up over. I can get that gun down. Look at that. I'm, look at how far down I can get that gun just poking up over the top of the hill without exposing too much of myself. So it's, it's a good thing. It's a good sniper tank. Very much so a pure tank destroyer. Uh, not, not any armor really to speak of, um, but decent camo and great gun. So I can imagine, and I haven't gotten the Panzer for the tier 6 one, or I guess the Nashorn comes first, maybe it's, maybe it's tier 7, um, that it's similar to that tank uh, in play style. It probably is also very similar to the Nashorn, so if you've played the Nashorn and you like it, you probably will like this tank. Um, I don't know. I haven't gone down that line. I got to the Panzer for I don't the Waffle. I don't know. Their their names are so... the The bus, the toaster. And I hated it. I, I just did not get that tank at all. So, I sold it. <laughs> I figured there's enough people playing tank destroyers um, that uh, didn't need to add another one. Hellcat e Hellcat. And our Hellcat gets the first shot, and he's going to back right into me. I wonder how that Hellcat got spotted. There he is again, he must have fired. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't think I'm spotted yet. I know I have camo on this tank, so I should 
be invisible until my little thing. <laughs> Look at our team, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't get. Yeah, it is weird, and we're totally winning. Look at our team just totally rush that side, and he's got that little PB gun. But I had to get a little higher than I wanted to, so. Yeah. This thing is a huge gun. <laughs> and it's perfect for this kind of situation. This is exactly the kind of situation you want to be in. <coughs> Look at our team. That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. And they didn't... Where is their team? Like, where are all these Hellcats? Did they all go to the island? I guess they did. Oh, train's going by. How, how. You hear that thing? It's like right outside my window, man. It's part of the job. I love it. He keeps popping his head up and I want to hit it. Wow. They're all over the place here. Welkomstrafa. I think I bounced. That actually I don't think was a hit. <laughs> Let them kill him. Man, I didn't really get to do anything. Goodbye. Oh, wow, I really pitched that low. Mm hmm We'll get him on the next one. Goodbye. There we go. And I got a decent hit on him, too. I think that Dicker Max is probably going to stay there, so... Fire right there and see what we get. Nope. Oh, man, he just missed me. I just missed him, actually. Boop. Nice. Track him. RNG. Goodbye. What? Come on, guys. Seriously? <laughs> Dang it. Nope. He moved. I ain't gonna hit that if I can't hit that big side thing. Finally. Cheaper's criminy. I got three kills. Wow. <laughs> oh, and by the way, the Panzer M10, because of that crappy gun, it does get premium um, matchmaking. So the Panzer M10 only sees tiers uh, 7 and 8. This tank also only sees tiers 7 and 8. The E25 has the same gun, but it fires twice as fast. <laughs> you can run yourself out of ammo. I've done it before. Uh, I find with the E25, and I really like it, but I do find that either I do really well... Or I have just a terrible, awful game. So, we'll see what happens this time. Uh, last time I did a review on this, I had a really good game. This time, I don't know what's going to happen. I, I'm obviously not playing so great tonight. I, I've had a couple good games, and we've won a lot of battles, but not because of me. So. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? So I'm just going to poke around here. Alright, we've got a T-44 coming. I'm going to be spotted right away, and I need to get to cover. Whoa. Okay, get out of here. Wow. He scooted up fast, man. I'm not going against that gun. What was he thinking? But, let's see. And the Jag Tiger, he's kind of out of an odd place for uh, this, too. Oh. Does this guy know I'm here? Oh, you got to get <laughs> Well, that was inopportune. I didn't land that hard. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, go skates. I don't want to be down here. I really don't. Because in a minute, like, all those heavy tanks are going to come rolling down the middle, and I'm, it's going to be me with my peewee little gun. Yeah, that Type 59, though. <coughs> Maybe I could help there. Oh my gosh, and the AT 15's all by himself. This is not going well. Let's 
try to... Wait, don't leave! Where are you going? Whoop! Oh, 1945. Not gonna be able to get into him without getting myself killed. This is really bad. I think we're gonna win this one, but really, it's been a quite a quite a battle. It's been a pretty crazy. I mean, this is like nuts. I'm spotted again. I'm hoping this ridge will be low enough that I can pull around to the back, but they're all looking my way. Look at that; they all know I'm here. Go this way. Get down. Well, this way they won't be able to rest peacefully, at least. The IS-3 is looking this way. Who's looking my way? Not the Panzer. IS-3. IS-3 knows I'm here. I can't do much. If he's going to sit there and aim at me... Okay, so I got 13 seconds to finish off the Tiger. Yeah, so, stayed alive. Didn't do a whole lot this match, you know. But, you can see, this is a fast and furious tank. You're never going to be sitting still for more than a minute or two. That IS-3 is most likely going to try to kill me, rather than... Nope, he just took his shot, and he's dead. So, that's it. Game over. Wow, that was easy. So, yeah. Let's go back to the garage. So, uh, in closing, one, I hope you like the new graphics. I don't know. It's a little harder for me to play like this, because I'm running at about 20 frames a second. Um... And that is a little difficult. And plus, I have to res down to 720p instead of 1080i or 1080p, which I'm sorry about. But I think for uploading purposes, I really need to do this because these longer videos are killing my bandwidth. My cable company is screaming at me all the time about how I'm over my bandwidth limit and they're charging me more money and all this stuff. So I need to kind of conserve on bandwidth. So giving you better looking graphics overall, but also sizing down a little bit on the overall size. So don't, you know, obviously don't play this full screen. <laughs> play it, well, now that you've watched the whole thing, <laughs> you're wondering, why is this not the high res that it normally is? Um, I've had to back off a little bit because of, of file size. So not that it makes a huge difference, but it's about uh, a gigabyte of size that I save. So anyway, E25, definitely worth the, at 50% off would be great. 30% off is good. It's a great tank. I love this thing and it's fun. Uh, the Dicker Max, once again, great tank, a lot of fun, um, awesome gun. I, I, this is just a fun glass cannon type tank. It, I love it. Panther M10 uh, definitely is a certain taste. You know, you have to, you have to like this kind of tank, and it's got a small gun, a lot of health, fairly mobile, not so much armor, but uh, this, you know, turret front's good. I think it's worth thirty percent off. You know. I like it. Most people, like I said, though, a lot of people don't like this tank. So, you know, you don't have to take my word for it. it it's <laughs> other people aren't going to like it. I happen to like this tank, and I think there's others that agree with me that it's a decent tank. Uh, Schmaltern, <laughs> they need to fix the MM on this thing. They really need to do something different with it so that it actually gets good teams occasionally and has more. Maybe it needs preferential matchmaking. I don't know. I just. <sighs> I love this, like I said, I love the tank, but I don't think it's worth the 30% off. I think it, most people find it a frustrating experience. 
T25, 50% off, definitely a good buy if you're into German mediums. It's a decent tank even if you're not. Uh, S35 is a lot of fun on Tier 3. It sucks when you're in Tier 5. It's okay on Tier 4, just like any tank, you know. Uh, but I like this tank. This is a good one to buy. It's cheap, and it's fun. Uh, looking for a good time, this is also a fun tank, the uh, T15. And then back onto the American line. We'll just review that real quick, and then we'll be out of here. T14, I'm going to say... Uh, Unless you're a collector, it's kind of a thumbs down. It doesn't fit the crews properly for any of the heavy tanks in Amer the American heavy tanks. Uh, that T-34 is the one that does. Um, the gun sucks. The armor is fun. But it just it's just not a great tank. Um, and people have really, even friends of mine who have, like I said before, who have loved this tank in the past, play it now and they're like, I don't know why I like this tank because it sucks. <laughs> So, I'm going to give a thumbs down on this one, though. You know, I mean, it's up to you. Ram 2, I think it's a good medium trainer. It's cheap, 750 awesome deal, and uh, I think this is definitely a thumbs up. Uh, M22 Locust, to, to me, this is also a thumbs up. This is a fun a fun tank, Tier 3, uh, scooting around, having fun. T2 Light Tank, for me, personally, thumbs down. But if you want it to race, these are the ones they use for the races. This is a fun tank for racing. Um, like those black flag events or whatever, and just for scooting around at tier two, it's okay. There's other tanks I would rather play, and to be honest with you, I don't, I don't regret spending three hundred whatever gold on it. But <laughs> that's all I would spend on it. <laughs> so anyway, you guys have a great night. Um, be sure to subscribe, and I, I look forward to seeing you guys. Hopefully, I'll get to platoon up. I know a lot of times when I get on there, my platoon mates are on, and I apologize. I'm often platooned with friends uh, already when people hear, hey, like, can you platoon? And I'm usually already hooked into a platoon. But um, anyway, I will try to do that when I can. And I will see you around the battlefield. Talk to you guys soon. Have a great night. Bye.